hi guys right today i'm coming on to share with a project for crossbar i'm doing they've kindly given me some beautiful metal stencils here and i've got um also a wax seal head and i'm going to be doing a project in stages so i'll take you with me through it let's get on with it and uh I hope you like it guys and I'll see you at the end of the video. So firstly I've got some giant puzzle pieces. They were from, um, I think it's uh, Peter Rabbit. Yeah, they're beautiful large size pieces and we're going to decorate them. is dry on these I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint them all the backgrounds in these different colors and um, I've chosen these colors and I will be back guys so I've finished off the painting and they've come out beautiful colours and now I'm going to add some waxes on the tops of them um, I'm going to do a base one like this I've just put some turquoise on this one and then I'm going to build up the colours so when I've done that I'll be back right so now we're going to put some eyelets into our puzzle pieces now that they're painted hi guys so i've finished my projects now and um i've put on some wax seals that i was i, I got um a face wax seal that was kindly 
gifted to me from Crow's Bar. So let me show you what I've done. Um, I've done, as you know, some giant jigsaw pieces. I've used the stencil, which was a metal tree of life. And I've put some wax seals on, which are a face, a woman and a rose. Rose head. And um, these can either be hung, okay, with string or wire. They can have dangles or you can use these as book fronts for your journals or that. So that's why I've left them plain like this because I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I make some journals, I can have this on the front of them. Um, and then... If I want to decorate up these little pots here, I can. I can put some more beads or some flowers on there or that. But that's the first one. Here's the second one. They are all like shimmery paints. So they all shimmer really well. And I've added some eyelets all in them as well to... Just give them a little bit more, you know, so they're more attractive, basically. And then I've got another two that I've done. I've done a purple one as well. So there's the tree in the purple. I think that one's come out really nice. I like that one. And then, as saving the best to last, I've also done this one which I know is going to go on my larger journal on the front I really do like this one the way it's come out it's really effective and that's it close up all the different colors in the tree so yeah I'm really pleased with those I've put in um, different color eyelets all in them so I really like them so let me just put them together on here a minute so you can see better and I'll show you in a minute let's put that one down there like that that up there they're all different um, shapes of giant jigsaw pieces so yeah, there's the jigsaw pieces that I've created. I'm really, really loving them actually. Especially this, I love this green one, how this has come out. So they all come out different depending on what colour background you have, what wax seal you have on them and that. But yeah, I like them, as I said, they can be hung. You could put a magnet on the back of them and put them on your fridge or hang them on the wall. Um, put some wire or some, um, I've forgotten what it's called, but it's like a string, it's like a hessian string and thread that through and have it as a hanger. You can put some beads that dangle down through the holes in some of them, like this one. You could have a hanger that comes down and then a hanger on the top or around here there's so many possibilities with these um i think they've come out really nice so let me know what you think guys and i really enjoyed making these actually and i think they've come out really nice so thanks again to Crasba for sending me some items and um I will let you guys know how to order from there. So, ordering is easy from Crasba. Just go to www.crasba.com and you'll see this website. This is a header. Then all you have to do is take a look around, browse around. They've got many, many items on there. Um, scrapbooking, cutting dies, wax seals, wax stencils um everything you could imagine really lots of scrapbooking ideas um 
there's glass pens there, um, in sets, there's um, washi tapes, there's journals, um, there's lots of ideas, they've got an inspirational um, blog there. So if you click down on the right hand column, you'll see all the stuff to go through. And then just browse the categories and then go into there. They've got new cutting dies now on the website, Metal Ones, for your die cutting machines. And um, lots of um, accessories for wax seals, the sealing wax, and there's handles there. And there's just a lot of beautiful items, stickers and embossing tools. Once you've had a good look around on the site, then you can overall know what you want to order. If you click or open the right hand column again, um, go to the bottom, you can change your currency. US dollars, um, British pounds, Canadian, Europe, Japan and Australian as well are all functional on the, and operating on the website. Um, as I said, they do many, many items. I'm going to give you an example here just to click on something to add to the basket. So I've clicked open this Halloween steel die cuts. Then when you're ready with your basket, you shop in, just check out. It's as simple as that. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you could leave me a comment and a like, big bonus. Thank you. And... Thank you to all the new subscribers coming in um, this week to the channel. Do appreciate it. Much love to you. Thank you for joining me. I always um, appreciate people coming in and joining and liking and leaving comments. Um, sometimes I don't see the comments to maybe a day or two after. Could even take a little while than that. But I do read them and I do appreciate you coming in. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye.